Hey everyone, how are you doing today? So we're gonna do a Pilates workout for your posture. Do you know that Pilates is one of the best workouts that you can do to improve your posture and alignment? So now you know. First of all, Pilates activates deep, deep muscles inside your body that can support your posture while you're walking, running, sitting. So let's start. We're gonna start with just a little bit of stretching to warm up your back. One leg is gonna be bent right in front of us, the other leg go back out to the side. So the positioning of the bones is one of the most important thing while you're doing Pilates. So you wanna keep your pelvis stabilized. If you feel that one glute is going all the way out of the floor, it's better to put something like a cushion or wherever you have, even take, I don't know, like maybe a shoe that you are holding close by you right under the glute that is sitting tight on the floor. So just to stabilize the pelvis a little bit better. Right hand goes down on the floor. We do deep breath in as you bring one arm above your head. You wanna separate the ribs on this side apart. And exhale, we're gonna go all the way opposite side. Your ribs like a hand fence. So when you're coming in a mermaid position, you're separating those ribs apart, creating some space right between them. Remember about keeping your pelvis stabilized. So this is very important. Good. And one more. And then we separate arms apart. Looking on your top hand, we're gonna press it in. So while you're pressing, it's okay to bring the one glute a little bit up and then you reach it up. Flexing in and then you reach it up. You're mostly creating those flexion from the ribs and up. Two hands down on the floor, bring your body in flexion, do deep breath then as you bring the chest forward. Exhale all the way back down. Deep breath then as you reach it up. And exhale, you wanna bring it back down. One more inhale and you're gonna hold this for a second. Breathing in, fully exhale. Let's change the side. We're gonna do the same in the opposite direction again. This is very important. We're changing the position of your hips so that affects the spine as well. One hand is down on the floor, deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll do the same on the other side. One hand is down on the floor, the other goes above your head. Pressing the shoulder down and again we do deep breath in. Shoulder goes down. And exhale, we switch the side one more time. Facing front, stabilizing the pelvis. One more as you push it away, a lot of extension. We're gonna bring the arm up, look at your hand and you flex the back in. Oh, I heard the crack. And you reach it up and again, we're gonna flex it in. Usually we do feel cracks. Uh, we hear them when we do this side flexion. And then we're gonna bring the hands down on the floor. We press the hands down like you're pushing something away from you. You bring the body in flexion, the ribs are in. And then we do deep breath in as you open the spine up. Breath in and exhale, we're gonna press your hands again down into the floor, flex the back, separate those shoulder blades apart. Deep breath in as you're coming back up. And exhale as you push it away, incredible. Inhale as you bring it back up. So we're gonna bring the legs right in front of us keeping them in the most comfortable for you position. So now you wanna grab the right knee. Side flexion again to the one side and then you reach the right arm up into the air and the hand is reaching the opposite knee, keeping your spine in a lot of extension and then you bring this in a little bit of flexion. Same with the other side. And then you reach it up again. You see that I'm leaning my body towards the right side and now I wanna flex it towards the right knee. Good, bring your body in flexion, reach your legs out to the side, keeping the toes nice and pointed. Bring the arms wide apart, you do the deep breath in. And as you exhale from your ribs, we're gonna bring your body a little bit extension and at the same time in flexion, reaching the opposite leg. You wanna reach the ankle, so think that you wanna reach the ankle, but at the same time, we're gonna go as far as we can do, right? What is going on with the lower back while I'm doing this exercise? This is a very interesting question. So when I'm bringing my body towards the one and the other ankle, I wanna keep my lower back still 
So I'm not reaching it with the hips and the glutes. I'm not lifting the glute up. I want to keep it still and down. I want to keep my lower back as much as it possible in a straight position while my upper back is moving from the ribs and up to the one side in the other direction. So my glutes are sitting tight on the floor. The pelvis is really heavy, so I'm not lifting it up. Good. So now you will feel this nice stretch in your back muscles, and at the same time, you will feel a contraction in them. And let's do one more. Going forward and reach it back up, arms down by the side. We bend the right leg right in front of us, a little bit of stretch, so we're gonna grab the right ankle. The left hand is reaching the left ankle. The right uh, hand is reaching the left ankle. Nice stretch. Go back in, straighten the right leg. Left leg has been right in front of us. Side flexion in the opposite way. That's so good. That's a really nice stretch. Very nice. Bring the legs right in front of you. We keep the upper body straight so your hips are square, arms are right in front of you. Pay attention to the arms and the floor so they are in parallel with each other. So your arms are the ceiling right now and the floor is the floor. So we're gonna flex it forward. And again, my lower back in a most, it's not the most comfortable position, but in the most stabilized position. So I'm not wanna, I don't wanna work a lot with the lower back, just the upper back side flexion to the one side, flexion forward from the ribs and up, opposite way, forward, and when you do the extension, you want to open the chest, go forward, and opposite way, reach forward, and inhale as you go up, and exhale, inhale, go into the exhale, inhale to the side, and again, forward, and inhale, and let's do a couple of more flexion. Inhale to the side, and exhale flexion, and inhale to the side, arms forward right in front of us. We're gonna cross the left leg with the right, just a little bit of stretches again. The combination when you can track the muscles and then you stretch them a little bit, just to uh, have a little bit of rest is the best one. Then we're gonna straighten the legs, shake them a little bit. We will change the position. So we're gonna bring the hands down on the floor. We look down at the floor. We align your wrists with the shoulders, the knees with your hips. Separating the shoulder blades apart, we're gonna reach the arms one by one up into the air. So when the arms are coming up, I want you to remember that first of all, the back is not moving. Second of all, when you pull the arm forward, you want to reach something right in front of you. So there is a glass of water right in front of you. You really pull your arm away from the shoulder, creating a little bit of space between the shoulder and the arm. Forward and back down. Distribute the weight evenly between your arms and your legs, so it's going to be much easier for you. Pushing forward. So look, pay attention to my back. So what is going on with my back when I'm moving the arms? Do we bring this in extension? Do we move it? No, we keep it straight. This is very important. And let's do a couple of more. One more. If you feel pain in your wrist so you can make a fist or you can bring your forearms for a bit and then continue in the same position. So right arm goes up. I'm going to bring it towards the hips. I bring it back down to the floor forward, out to the side towards the hip, back, down towards the floor, forward, out to the side, back, down towards the floor, forward, out to the side, back, down towards the floor. Let's repeat it for two more times. Back down, forward, out, back, down. Good, so the hands are still down, we do deep breath in, bring your body in extension, and as exhale, bring it back down in flexion. Inhale, and exhale back down. One more deep breath in, and exhale back down, and then the circle rotation to the one side, three times, opposite way, so your back, your spine, like a jump rope right now. 
moving in one side, then the opposite direction. And again, bring the back in a straight position. Right hand goes behind your head. We're gonna do the side deflection in, pull the elbow towards the opposite side. Inhale as you reach it up. And exhale, you bring it in flexion. Inhale, back neutral. Exhale, flexion. Inhale, back neutral. Exhale, flexion. Inhale, back neutral. And exhale, in flexion. Inhale, back neutral. Switch the side. Right hand behind, left hand behind. Flexion. Back into the neutral. Flexion. Back into the neutral. Let's do for three more, pulling the elbow away. Let's do two. And just one more, amazing. Hands down on the floor, pull your glutes down towards your heels. Stretch the arms right in front of you. Press the hands down onto the floor, move it forward. Do deep breath in as you inhale. Reaching in a swan position. And exhale, we bend the elbows down by the side all your ribs. Deep breath in as you're coming up into this one, facing the front. And exhale, we're gonna go back down. And inhale, swan, ribs are in, pelvis is up a little bit. And exhale, you're gonna go down. Trying to extend more with the hips, not the lower back. Look at the difference. So when we extend from the lower back, it looks like that. When we extend from the hips, we're gonna go up. So this is this one. And back down one more time. Inhale up. Incredible. And exhale as you go down, we'll look down at the floor. Bring the arms forward. So now we're gonna work with the alignment and elongation. We're gonna bring the arms up one by one. And again, try to just bring the arms down so when you're just throwing them up down on the floor so it doesn't work, right? When the arms are falling down on the floor and you're just trying to throw them up into the air, it doesn't work. So we need to elongate and we need to keep the alignment. And again, think about the same, something that you have right in front of you and you really wanna reach this something. Bring it forward and down. So my chest now is down, my ribs are down. And I want to pull my arm forward, trying to activate deep back muscles. And let's do a couple of more. One more, and then we're going to do the same with the legs. When the arms are forward, we're going to reach the legs one by one up. So it's not just for the back, your glutes are activated right now. Because you're pulling the leg away, you engage the glutes as well. Pressing it up and then reaching it down on the floor. Pressing it up, reaching it down on the floor one by one. Trying to pull it away from the hip. You're doing great. Let's do a couple of more. One more and then we're gonna alternate the right arm and the left leg and then we switch. And we switch. And we switch. And again, the right hand is reaching the glass of water. And then the lock is pulling away from the hips, like you want to, for example, I don't know, close the door with the lock and you really need to pull it away from the hip. Think about something, imagine something in your head. It's really helpful. And out. And let's do one more. Good, hands are right in front of you, relax, and you do deep breath in. Coming up into the swan position. And exhale, you go all the way back down, hands behind your head. You do deep breath in as you go up. And exhale as you bring the upper body down. Inhale as you go up. And exhale as the upper body goes down. Let's do for four. Ribs are down on the floor for three. For two. One more as you go up, arms down out by the side. Bring them down, reach them up, keeping the ribs down on the floor. The chest is up. I look down at the floor, just moving my arms up and down for four, three. Shoulder blades together and out, together and out. One more. I bring them down by the side of the hips. I move them forward by the side of the hips. I move it forward. We do for five, four, three, two. One more and go back down. Wonderful. 
For this position, we're going to lay down on the side. We bring the arms right in front of you. If it's not comfortable for you, you always can bring cushion front under or just take a yoga block and you can put the yoga block right under the head. So we're going to bring the arms forward, keep the shoulders, the shoulder away from the neck. We're going to do deep breath in as you open your chest, inhale. And as exhale, we're going to bring it all the way back down. Again, the arm goes forward. We're going to do deep breath in, inhale. Awesome. And exhale as we bring it back down. One more as we do deep breath in. Wonderful. Oh, I feel this nice stretch in my upper back. That's awesome. And exhale, we're going to bring it back down. So we need to change the side. You can just turn to the opposite direction. So I will going to change the way I lay down just to make sure that I look at you. So we're going to lay down. Arms right in front of us. The head is down. We do deep breath in as you open through your chest. Nice stretch in the back and exhale as we're going to bring it all the way back down. And again, we're going to do deep breath in, inhale, open through your chest. And exhale, we're going to bring it all the way back down. Just one more time, deep breath in. And exhale as we bring it all the way down. And now we're going to lay down on the back. So when you lay down on the back, and we're just not, we're not just resting on the floor, right? We want to right away put the back in the position that we need to keep while we're exercising. So we keep the back of the head, the shoulder blades and the pelvis down on the floor. A little bit of space between the lower back and the floor as well. We need to have, so it's normal curves in your spine when the upper back and slight flexion, the lower back and slight extension. So you want to keep it while you're exercising. We're going to bring the arms down by the side of the hips and we're going to work on your spine mobility. So we're going to roll the spine up each vertebra at a time. So we're coming up into the bridge. When you stay into this bridging position, you see that your bones are aligned, the ribs, the hips and the knees. There is a one line and then the segmental movement down each vertebra at a time. So you feel how each vertebra in your spine is touching the floor. Once the pelvis is on the floor, you do deep breath in and as exhale, you reach it up, keeping the hips and the knees aligned. And then we're going to roll it back down. That's awesome. We're going to do it for a couple of more times and rolling it back down. Just one more as we go up and then we're going to hold this position. We reach the arms up, keeping the heels pressed down into the floor. We're going to reach the arms behind the head one by one. Keeping the glutes engaged, keeping the her bones aligned. Bring the arms behind the head one by one, reaching it behind, breathing in and out. And exhale in as it up. And bring it back in a couple of more. Just one more and arms up, bring them down by the side and then we're going to roll the back down, pull the knees towards the chest and just relax your lower back a little bit, move it into the one side in the opposite direction and a little bit of more core work just at the end, we're going to bring the legs on a tabletop, arms are up. When the right arm goes behind your head, the left leg is stretching forward and then we're going to switch it. Breathe in and exhale as it up, in and exhale, full in and exhale as you bring it up. The arms are nice and straight and remember that you want to elongate them. Good. You're feeling not just your abdominals. You feel the feeling the entire core where you're doing this one. Good. And just for four more times in and exhale three and bring it back two and back in one more and bring it back in. Bring the hands behind your under your uh, knees. We're going to articulate the spine up each vertebra at a time without using the momentum. We're going to sit on the glutes, reaching the back, knees are bent. We're going to flex to the one side. Flexion in the opposite direction. Let's me just scoot down a little bit. Good. We're going to cross the legs in the most comfortable for you position. Hands behind the head. So you do deep breathe in. Flexion to the one side. Inhale. 
and exhale back down. Inhale, flexion in the opposite direction and bring it back down. Flexion forward. And as you do deep breath in, you reach the arms up into the air. Inhale and exhale, hands are right in front of the chest. Just close your eyes, relax, get your breath. Bring your arms down. One more deep breath in. And fully exhale. Thank you for the class. I hope that you enjoyed us as much as I did. Don't forget to press the like button and follow my channel to have more workouts with me. Bye.